my kitchen so today with the temperature starting to drop I decided I was going to make a beef chili but before we dive into our chili just wanted to take a moment and say a huge thanks to everyone who's helped support that boy cooking uh, your support means the world to me whether you're trying out the recipes leaving a comment or just watching so remember, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos. So with that being said, let's grab our ingredients, get our apron, and let's make some chili. For our chili, we're going to need the following. A beef roast, which has been cut into one inch pieces, oil, diced onion, diced bell pepper, minced garlic, diced tomatoes and I'm using the diced tomatoes made for are uh, made for chili you can use the regular diced tomatoes if you like beef stock tomato paste chili powder oregano crushed red pepper thyme salt um, we're gonna have a can of red kidney beans dark and a can of light kidney beans If you enjoy my content and want to help support the channel, hit the join button below this video. Alright, so I've got my trusty Magnolite or Dutch oven heating up with some oil over medium high heat. So to this we are going to add in our beef roast. And then we are going to cook this it's evenly brown on all sides all right so our roast is brown evenly brown so to this we are going to add in our onion our bell pepper and our garlic and we're going to cook this till the vegetables just start to shop to soften i'm just all kind of misspelling and talking today but yeah, we're going to cook this probably for about five minutes or so. As you can see, our vegetables have started to soften. So to this, we're adding in our beef broth, our diced tomatoes, give this a quick stir. Chili powder, oregano, thyme, red pepper, red pepper flakes, salt, and cayenne. And we are also adding in our tomato paste. There we go. Now we're going to give this a good mix and try not to send it flying everywhere which if anybody has cooked anything that's got tomatoes or tomato paste or sauce, you all know that it um, doesn't take much for it to go flying everywhere, especially if you're wearing white. So I made it a point um, to change out of my white shirt so that way I don't have to um, get it clean. So now we're gonna cut this down to a simmer place a lid on it, and let it go for about two hours till the beef is soft. So this has been going about an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes. So now we're going to check and see if our meat is tender. Because as soon as it's pork tender, we can move on. Yep. We are good to go. So now... We are going to add in our two different types of beans, and you can use whichever two types you like. I'm using red beans and pintos, 
and we are going to drain these before we add them in. And if you don't want beans, you don't have to add beans. So we're going to give this a quick stir. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let this cook for about another 15 minutes or so so that the beans can get warm. And if you want your chili to be a little bit thicker, you can continue cooking without a lid on it and it will uh, thicken up for you. All right, so this has been heating up for about 15 minutes. So now we are going to service up some chili. Give this a good stir. Get everything mixed up. And we're going to load us up a bowl. And there we go. Alright, so now that our chili's all done, the only thing left to do is eat it. So, here we go. Enjoy cooking in the kitchen, and I'm finishing off my chili.